Hi, I'm Jake with CureCoin. Today I'm going to show you how to merge fold with CureCoin and Folding Coin. First off, we're going to go to Tokenly Packets at the Chrome Web Store. We are going to add to Chrome, add extension. Then we're going to go up here where it pops up, create wallet. No, unless you already have a passphrase, then no. Now you're going to want to keep this because this is going to be technically your password. Save, save that somewhere safe. Um, continue. Now uh, we are going to get your wallet address. We want to deposit. And this is going to be the address right here that you're going to have. Go ahead and copy that. Okay, so that's going to be part of your username. Now we're going to go to this website here and you're going to create a name and it's got to be short because we can only be 50 characters or less for the total name including that wallet address. So for today I'm just going to put CCFLDC then you're going to want to do underscore, all in caps, underscore, and that wallet address. And just to make things easier later, I'm going to copy that whole thing, send it to your email address, I made a sample one for this. Get pass key. Now that's going to go to your email. So now we have your name and your passkey. Perfect. Now we're going to want to go to folding.stanford.edu. Click download up here. Download again. That's for Windows. If you have any other thing else, you can go to see all downloads. You can do Mac and all that. Um, go ahead and wait for that to install. Okay, now that's installed, we'll go ahead and open that up. Go through this stuff. And finish. So it's going to come up with this page here. Um, you can use this, this is just the web client. Uh, this is going to be that name. Team number is going to want to be 224497. That's CureCoin's team, that's how you earn the CureCoin. And your pass key is right here in your email. Oops. Go ahead and click save. So now you're all kind of set up. But now there's still a few more steps that we have to do. We're going to have to go to curecoin.net, scroll down here to download wallet. And again, I'm only doing Windows. Go ahead and click through here. Now we'll open up the wallet. Sometimes it takes a minute.
Okay, so it's going to take a while to sync, but we can still finish off what we're doing here. Now that we have the wallets, we'll go ahead. We'll come back to that. We're going to want to go to cryptobullions.com. Uh, when it first goes to the site, it's going to have a five-second delay. That's cloud fair it's just for protection. Um, we're going to want to go to register here. Username is the once. Is this username here? Okay, I can't do it because that thing's in the way. Um, right, get out of my email. Sorry, guys. I'm uh, I'm really trying my best here. Okay. Type in your username there. Create a password. And then create a pin. And the capture. Okay. Now we're going to log in with the same details. Oh, gotta love these captures, but they're nice and secure. Hopefully, I get it right, huh? Okay, now we're logged in. Um, there's a few things we need to do. We need to go to my account and add the payment address. That's going to be from the CureCoin wallet. So we're going to receive coins and we're going to copy this address here. And we don't want to leave too many on the pool because you never know if a, I'm not saying a pool would ever get, you know, hacked or whatever, but if it did, it'd hate for you to lose your coins, so keep it nice and safe in the wallet. You can donate here if you want. Uh your automatic payment threshold, you're going to want to just set it one so it'll just pay out and then your pin here that you created. Update settings. Okay, so that should be all good now. Every time that the payout comes to the pool, uh, it will automatically go to your CureCoin wallet. It'll show up here. There's Okay, so there's one more thing I can show you. You can go to this advanced control. And this is where you can see what's going on. I got a R9 270X in this one that's running. Um, you can set all your things here. You can go to configure. Uh, this is where all your information is also set. Your slots you can add and remove. So that's some things about that. And then if you want to keep track of your stats, you go to this website here and go to all user list sorry all teams list and then go to cure coin which you can see where we're rocking it right now the top ones will pull up on here this is uh, cure coins team all of that if you want to search your username specifically Just type it in here, and obviously I haven't earned any points yet, so it's not going to pull up. But that's about it. Let me know if you have any other questions.